Okay. The Frederick Jump School's hangar sustained damages to the roof during a hailstorm in the spring. And now, nearly six months later, they're flying high again. Well, our 7 News reporter Mark Lowe joins us now. And Mark, I know you wanted to jump today, but instead you spoke to some of the airmen. What did they have to say about the repairs? Nantara, you know me too well, but the paratrooper school hangar has withstood the test of time being built in the World War II era. But when the Oklahoma weather came blowing through, it proved to be a challenge. After our very first air show at Shepard Air Force Base of this year, the tornado struck. And it left right behind me here an Olympic-sized pool hole in the roof. And then all around us, other holes, uh, letting in rain, hail, typical Oklahoma weather. All that destruction also caused water damage to the nearly century-old structure that houses a C-47 and C-49 aircraft. It scared some who work with the airfield, thinking that the hangar had served its final duty. Honestly, when I saw the damage, I was afraid we were going to lose it. Um, the damage was significant enough. Like with most insurance companies, sometimes it gets to a certain point and they don't pay for it. Thankfully, they didn't do that, and um, we did manage to get at least some of the, the repairs to make it weather tight again. Those with the airfield have nothing but praise for everyone who's helped contribute to the rebuilding process, whether it's those who worked on the roof or even the community who offered support. Training still proceeded through it all, with some air shows in between, like the 80th commemoration of the D-Day landings in northern France. One of the aircraft in the hangar saw service in the Second World War, and inside of it are pictures of veterans who jumped from the plane into enemy territory. Some of the photos have the veterans or their family signatures next to it, while others have dates of soldiers who never came home. One of the current students at the school says getting to experience what those veterans felt to a lesser extent is something that will follow him wherever he goes. Seeing these faces, seeing these names, and realize that, that these are men and women that have actually done this, that did this, <laughs> not in Frederick, Oklahoma, not in, uh, a, in calm weather, but rather on the other side of the ocean while they were taking fire and it, it was very humbling to say the least. That's the main message of the jump school, to remember, honor, and serve. Though the storm may have damaged the heart of the team, they'll each tell you it's done nothing but build them up stronger. It's made us a stronger team. I think it's brought us closer together to the community, not only here in Frederick, but reaching out to uh, the Vernon area, the Lawton area. It's been great. Okay. Now, the Jump School is hosting an open hangar day tomorrow for everyone in the community to come see what they're all about. There will be displays for the whole family to enjoy and, barring some good weather, some jumps from the plane themselves. For more information, you can visit this article on our website, KSWO.com. For 7 News, I'm Mark Lowe.